Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video, we're gonna jump into this Instagram quote on my Life With Options account, which is, confidence is built through trust. Trust is built through consistency. Now, one of the questions that I get from a lot of clients is around self-confidence. Now, what is confidence? there's a level of trust that's involved with it as well because confidence is not so something that is developed overnight. You know, maybe if you look at a task that you've, that you've started doing recently, are you confident in it? Possibly not because at that time you're looking at, well, can I trust myself to be able to get the desired outcome every single time? And if the answer is you're just starting out, you're just learning it, whatever it might be, maybe it's starting your own business, maybe it's photography, maybe it's website development, maybe it's a career change that you're going through, whatever it might be. If you've started out fresh with it, the chances are you're not gonna be confident and or the level of confidence that you may have in it will be a level of naivety because you don't have an understanding and awareness of the bigger picture. And until you dive into something with just blinders off and just going for it and then you start to work out, well, this didn't work, that didn't work, and start to navigate yourself around it, you may find yourself at that moment when you hit that wall of something didn't work, you fall back into a space of, I don't trust myself now, I don't have any confidence. Because now you've, you've hit some form of an upper limit, a boundary, a boundary that you didn't know even existed. So now you're like, okay, well, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. And that's when it really comes back to the strategy of building trust within yourself to regain the confidence. And this is more learnt confidence rather than that naive confidence that you have when you start something out because you're ambitious and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it happen, I'm gonna take over the world, or whatever it might be. But when you have that moment where you've gotta now regulate your own emotions, regulate your own understanding and come back to creating and developing and um, constructing the confidence for yourself, it's coming back to trusting in yourself. Because when you start looking at all of the little slithers, okay, big event took place, all of this happened, in there is a couple of moments that says, yes, I have the ability to do this. Now, that may not be the full picture, but that may be an element and an aspect of the full picture. So maybe you're looking at, I don't know, a website development or something like that. Let's just use that as an example. You know. Maybe the first thing is you now know how to get a domain name and you know how to register that domain name with your website. So you don't necessarily know how to develop a website, but you have trust and confidence within the ability to register a URL, register your domain name or register somebody else's domain. So you then can go out to somebody and say, oh, you want a website? Well, look, I'm working on this part of the development of the website but I know I can do this. I know I can get you the URL link to your website because I have trust in myself that I can create a predictable outcome. So you are able to convey confidence when you are speaking about it. Or maybe it's a different element of work. Maybe it's a job or maybe it's you know, a different business, whatever it might be, website development, marketing, photography, as I said, whatever it might be. When you can start seeing that you can create a predictable result then you start to develop trust in yourself to be able to, to carry out that task and get the result. And that's gonna help with your confidence. Now, being able to receive is a big thing that comes into this. So maybe you're starting out your own coaching business. And I've been speaking to a number of clients who now we've gone through a lot of their stuff they're now wanting to step into their own coaching business. So I've got a mentor program which will take them through that and be able to hold their hand so they don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. But when it comes to, let's just say, in that coaching space, or even any sort of a business where there's a client involved, being able to receive the feedback from your client and being able to acknowledge when you did a good job and all of the evidence and get beyond your own story of I'm not good enough. You know, I can't do this. I, you know, I don't have the knowledge. I'm not smart enough. I'm not this, this, and this. Whatever that story is that's going on for yourself, 
being able to step outside of that. And when somebody tells you that you did a good job at something, whatever the task is that you're doing, actually acknowledge that and step into it and embrace it. And being able to really connect to it will help to build your trust. Because it's one thing to, to seal the evidence for yourself. But there's some things that you may be doing that is semi-unconscious and you just innately happen to be good at it. So when you're innately good at it, you find it so easy that you neglect how good you are at it. But yet when the, the audience and the evidence is showing up external to your world, and if you're able to be open and receiving that feedback, that confirmation that you are doing a good job, then you will start to be able to step into the identity of yourself that trusts yourself in that arena. And when you trust yourself in that arena, you are confident in that arena. And it means that you can go out there and express yourself in a way that other people will be like, wow, I want to work with that guy or I want to work with that woman. Like they're the ones that I want to work with because when it comes to confidence, and this is where I guess most struggle with it is it's, not being able to express yourself, not being able to convey your truth, not being able to say no or ask for that amount of money for your service or whatever it might be, coming back to your worth. And if that's the case, it's because you don't trust yourself or your ability to be able to produce the outcome that you're speaking about. So what I want to invite you to do is get out a piece of paper and a pen. I would invite more of a pen and paper as opposed to on your phone, but if you've got your phone, then fine, go for that and start writing down what are the areas that you are good at? What are the areas that you have trust and confidence in? Why do you have trust and confidence within those areas of your life? What is it about it? Is it the fact that you can create a predictable result based on the, the task? Is that what's giving you that trust and the confidence? And then how did you get that? Because when you go into a new environment, be it is starting your own business or consulting, photography, whatever it might be, a new career, when you start something new, understand that you don't have all of the answers. You can have the idea and as I said, go charging out of the gate and go for it and then maybe at some point when you naively hit against a barrier and go, oh, now I'm scared, now, now I don't know if I can do this because I didn't know this existed that is when you're going to need to start looking into developing the trust and, con and constructing the confidence through all of the areas within that skill set that you know you can trust yourself within. Have a look into that, write down in the comments below, let me know how is that showing up for yourself? What are the areas of life that you have trust and confidence in? Why do you have trust and confidence within those areas of life? Let me know, keen to hear your side of things and with that, I'm going to wrap this one up, so I'll see you on the next video. But if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and share it with a friend who, who's going through some struggles and challenges right now. Maybe they're not trusting and confident within themselves. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.